shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. All right, what's up, everybody? Check, check. Okay, we're good. We sound, we sound good. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to the podcast. All right, mate. We're, it's officially going podcast mode. I'm sorry to say it, but we've gone podcast mode. I, I accidentally turned into an Australian accent at the end, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing well. It's... uh. Yeah, man, it's episode 226. I'm back. So I had a week off, took a little week break for the podcast. Um, so sorry about that. Sorry to my um, my patrons, my patrons on the very, really good Patreon. We got a bonus episode coming this week. Okay, so if you're listening to this, the bonus episode, it's coming, all right? Like, it's either out right now or the same day. Um, if you're not, on the Patreon, go join the Patreon, dude. We got tons of bonus episodes on there. It's chill. It's it's it, we hang out on there. We get a little more loose. It's it's a good time. But uh, if not, I totally understand. Um, but yeah, dude, I, we took a week off because I got married again. We had a second wedding, okay? Because I, I, I see some comments being like, "Wait, what? Didn't they already get married? What the hell did they break up and, and they get married again? No." You're, I mean, yeah, no, we got married again. We didn't break up, all right? Here's what happened. Last year, we friggin', we have a great ceremony of, um, like, six people. We elope, right, in, uh, in, in Italy. It was beautiful. Best day of my life. And um, we got with some close friends, you know? And then the thing about that is it was great. And it was perfect. But the thing about that is um, there's this thing that happens when you elope. And um, it's it's kind of weird. I didn't know this was going to happen. But apparently this is like a thing that like comes with it. But if you elope, um, a lot of people in your family, um, they make like passive aggressive comments about it. Um, about not being invited. You know. <laughs> um which is fair, you know, it makes sense, you know, it's, um, you know, I'm your fan, you know, you want to see, you want to be invited, you know, um, so they go, what the fuck, where was my invite, and you go, oh, yeah, true, oh, okay, fine, so, yeah, we had, um, yeah, we had, um, uh, a nice family wedding, we, um, it was in Jenna's hometown, in her parents' backyard, and it was really cute, we had a family from my side, family from Jenna's side, I'll come up, and, uh, we had, uh, some of our friends, too, um, you know, we had Danny, Laura, Drew, Amanda, Jarvis, Jordan, Freddie, Olivia. We had the whole fucking gang, dude. Um, you know, obviously Jake, Jacob and Dean emceed it. it. It was great, man. It was good. We danced. Uh, we ate a bunch of food. We got fucked up. And, um, yeah, it was sick. It, it was a good time. Um, so that's why I had the week off from the podcast. Sorry. Oh, so- sorry. Sorry. The woke mob is here again. The uh, knock knock. The woke mob is here at the, at my fucking door, trying to trying to. They're trying to cancel me for skipping a week of the podcast. What next? What next? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking kidding. Um. So yeah, that's why I we had a week off. But good to be back, dude. We got a lot to talk about today. Um. Also, something crazy happened. Something fucking crazy happened. Whoa. Oh my god. Dude. So, here's here's the fucking situation. All right? A couple days ago, I wake we wake up. I I wake up. I mean, we all woke up that a couple days ago, right? If you didn't wake up the other day, then there's no way you woke up today. And then so you're dead. So you you woke up. We all woke up, but I woke up especially. I woke up more I definitely woke up. You guys woke up, but I, I woke up, and I, I get a text from my friend Max. Um, Max, uh, Max Kerman, lead singer of the Arkells. It's, I'm not name dropping. I'm just, I'm just dropping my friend's name. Okay, but he, um, 
he sent me a text. He's like, yo, any, um, any, any chance you're in Toronto and also a fan of the Jonas Brothers? And I was like, uh, yes and yes. And he was like, we got this thing, this opportunity. You might be able to to meet the Jonas Brothers. I, I, they asked me, but I'm, I got a gig out of town. Would you want to go possibly meet the Jonas Brothers? And I was like, yes. Absolutely I do. Are you fucking kidding me? They're the Jonas Brothers. So as soon as I heard that, I I put my Camp Rock shirt on. I got ready to go. Um, we took... We had to be there at like 6.30. We left at... F- um, no, we had to be there at 6. We left at like 5.30 Um because it said it was going to be a half-hour drive. And then it was not a half-hour drive, because it's Toronto, and everything past 5 p.m., if you're trying to get anywhere, it is 45 minutes, no matter what. It is at least 45 minutes, because Toronto sucks. If there's one... Sorry, excuse me. There's one highway and a million idiots, so it's hard to really get anywhere quickly. Um, so... We're in the fucking Uber just like, and I have to pee so bad, so bad. Because I think I was nervous or something. I drank so much water that day, so I had to pee so bad. I thought I was going to piss my pants. I thought I was going to pee my pants in the Uber. Um, and I, it was one of those things where it was like, if I, you know, you know how we, when you got to pee so bad, it turns into farts. That's what was happening. It was like so much pressure was like in my bladder. It was like. It was like, it was like leaking out into other parts. It's like when you, um, it's like when you crack a fucking egg yolk and it just sort of spills out in every which way. That was the, the pressure in my, in my, in my, uh, in my lower body. And it was just push going towards my farts. And it was, and then I had to hold in the farts cause it was, a, it was a little Uber and I didn't want to fucking stink it up. So regardless, we get to the venue at like six fifteen. I'm texting the person. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Traffic was crazy. I'm, I'm, I'll be there soon. Sorry. And, um, um, sorry. We get in. They're like, it's okay. Just like go down, go down to the floor and we'll, we'll, we'll come grab you. And they do. We just make it. They're just about to go back to meet the Joe bros. And we're, we're fucking running. And we're like, okay, okay. We're here. We're here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then, um, yeah, we're in line. It was so weird because it was like, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. I didn't fucking sign anything, so I can talk about this. But um, yeah, it was, I guess, like the 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 record label, like, like organized this where they like, I guess at each show, they invite a bunch of like TikTokers or like influencers. I think they were all TikTokers because I, I'm not a, I don't think I'm a fucking TikToker at all, but um, that and it wasn't even my invite. It was fucking Max's. So it was like, I'm not, I'm not like, it was weird. Um, uh, but it was all like, uh, TikTokers there. Um, but you know, everyone was super nice, you know, but I think the, the like idea, the, the record labels idea is like, Oh, the, you know, TikTokers, you get to meet the Jonas brothers, film some quick content with them. And you know, they, before their show, they get some, you know, a bunch of like free advertisements. I get it. It makes sense. It's actually like pretty smart. But um, so we're all standing there in a big group. Jonas, and then we see this friggin' huge golf cart come come driving up, and it's the goddamn Jonas Brothers. I only see Nick, but I'm like, fuck yeah, that's that's crazy. We like form this like impromptu line, Nick Nick Jonas, and I'm wearing my Camp Rock shirt. Remember, he wa- that that I found at a thrift store in Sudbury, Ontario, like fucking seven years ago it's a camp rock crew shirt so someone on the camp rock crew had the shirt didn't want it anymore donated to a thrift store i got i found it gasped and bought it and i've been wearing it ever since so i wore that nick was making his way down the line shaking everybody's hand handsome as hell it was bullshit it was actually it was it was actually like annoying how like soft his eyes were and um and how sick his arms looked it was actually bullshit kind of pissed me off if i'm being honest and I think that's safe to say. I think that's okay. I think that's fine to be a little angry when you see when you see Nick Jonas in the flesh because he's a he's a he's a handsome guy, you know. And and that's fine. It's okay to get a little furious when you see 
uh, Nick Jonas because I, I, yeah, I was burning up a little bit. I was, I was burning up. Um, so I shook his hand. He was like, I love this shirt. And I was like, thanks, man. And then we were at the end of the line. So he had like nowhere to go after. So we were like awkwardly talking to him, um, being like, you know, excited for the show. This one, this show's going to be a lot cooler than the last one. It's like, we're, we're just shooting the shit with, with Nick J. And then this is when the TikTokers beside us like went full influencer mode. And they're like, can we make a TikTok with you? I got an idea for TikTok. And then like everyone was just like immediately like a fucking flip. Like a switch was flipped and then everybody was on like TikTok mode. And I was like, I don't, when did they do this? Is like a, it was like a flash mob, but, <laughs> but with influencers, they all immediately started making TikToks at the same time. It was so strange. Um, and it's like me, Jenna and my sister, we're all like around like late twenties, early thirties, much older than everybody else here. It was very it was very interesting. Um, but the craziest shit, dude, this was the, the craziest fucking shit, okay? Um, Nick left to go, like, be stunning somewhere else. And then uh, we were just, like, talking being like, this is super, like, weird or awkward. I don't know. Like, I, we don't know what to do. We were just so out of place, and we all are, like, anxious when shit like that happens. Um, but luckily, my friend and... I've worked with him before. He direct Mark my, from Mark, Mark Myers. He was filming uh, like BTS stuff all day for Jonas Brothers. And I've worked with Mark before. He directed the episode of the dessert that I'm on on Crave, um, the sketch show on Crave that I was that I appeared in. And so that was like an in sort of because he was filming the Jonas Brothers the whole time. So I, I he came up. I said, what up to Mark? I was talking to his camera and stuff. And then Joe Jonas walks up to me and he goes hey uh, hey I'm Joe and I go I, I Joe I know I'm 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 Curtis and then Joe goes listen to this dude I say hey Joe I'm Curtis and he goes yeah I know uh. What do you mean you know? What do you mean you know, Joe? No Jonas? That's what, that's what your name is. No Jonas, because you know me. That's fucked up. And I know they're like... I've seen their TikToks. I've seen their content and stuff. They're online. They are... They are... They're in it. They get it. So, like, I guess... He was like, see my TikToks or my YouTube videos? I was so fucking... I was so taken aback. I didn't remember what I said. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? No fucking way. But no, he was, I, I, um, I don't know what I haven't said after that, but then he like talked to someone else and then I was like, okay, that was awesome. I, that's, that was perfect. Tonight cannot get any better. And then wouldn't you know, we were standing there and who else do I see but fucking Kevin Jonas, the Kevin Jonas makes a beeline for me, and he goes, I got to say hi to this guy. And he goes, hi, Curtis. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh? What do you... I didn't tell you my name yet. How do you know it? And I go, what the fuck? Hey, man, how do you know my name? He's like, I'm a fan. I love your stuff. Uh? Yo, Kev, you can't say that to me, man. You can't say that to me. You can't just say that, dude. So, you got to picture me in a Camp Rock shirt. I've been watching and listening and loving the Jonas Brothers. All of them separately and together. I've been love. I've loved them for as like how however long as they were a fucking thing. Ever since like when you looked me in the eyes, dude. That was the first song I heard by them. Lost my fucking mind. Okay, no, not even. I think it was "Hold On." That was the first song. So, dude. Um. 
so we start talking and stuff, and um, I was like, so I didn't even know what to say because everything was going so quickly. But Mark came around with the camera for like the video they were doing, and then Kevin does like this interview to me. He's like, so Curtis, what are some uh, dude? It was fucking. I can't. He like asked me tips on like YouTube, and I was like, don't. I don't. I don't know, man. You don't. You're. You guys don't need my help. Okay, I'm a YouTuber. You guys are the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> He's like, how can we, you know, what's the secret to being famous on YouTube? I'm like, you guys are about to do a stadium show. <laughs> I think you guys are good. But, you know, we had some uh, banter. I made I made them laugh pretty hard. It was, dude, it was crazy. And then they had to take off. We got a picture on our disposable camera, so we got to get that developed. But as soon as he left, I had, like, no time to do anything. I wanted to talk. I wanted to bring up Danny's video so bad about his music video about, how much how he ghosted Kevin Jonas, um, but I, there just wasn't enough time. I was so flustered, and it was like it went so quick. But yeah, dude, I think so. Two out of the three Jonas brothers knew who I was, which was fucking crazy. Um, and you know, before I, uh, I can't even. Yeah, it it was fucking it was it was nuts. So that was the that was the story of how I, I met uh, the Jonas Brothers. They're all fucking super nice guys. They're all gorgeous, super talented, and uh, they're fucking beauties. I love the Jonas Brothers. Show is incredible. They played for three hours. It was insane. So everybody go see the Jonas Brothers. It worked, man. It worked. Their whole thing worked to get influencers and YouTubers and TikTokers to talk about them. It worked, man. I'm doing it. I, I fucking fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Me being there, I, dude, I was literally being the fucking Wattpad, like, uh, meme, where I was just like, I'm the only one not making TikToks. <laughs> Maybe they'll notice me. And it, yo, it actually, like, it kind of worked. But at the same time, I'm do I'm making content now about it, so it's like, what? Um, fuck, that's fine. <laughs> I, yeah, I, like, bring a book. I, I, I bring, like, the dictionary. I'm just reading it. It's like, oh, you guys are filming TikToks? I'm smart. No, Joe Bros till I die, man. If they ever need room for another, if they ever got room for another Joe Bro, I'll hop up there, dude. Um, how long have you been going for, dude? I feel like that story was an hour long. Seventeen minutes, Ooh, or fifteen minutes? I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, that's what my life has been like lately. It's been a fucking movie. <laughs> it's been a oh, it was the wedding and then the Jonas Brothers, man. That's not just a movie, dude. That's a double feature. Yeah. My life's been a double feature, bro. <clears throat> so, um, okay, this will be, uh, we're going to change the subject a little bit. So let's change, let's play that tune. Shout out Jonas Brothers. I love you guys. You guys are the goats. Ow. Why do I get zapped every time by this microphone? Um, okay, so this is some crazy shit that's been going on. This episode, I think we're going to be talking about a lot of uh, internet drama. TikTok drama. Um, so pretty niche TikTok stuff. But the first one is pretty relevant to a lot of you guys listening. Because, listen... I know I, I I I know my audience. Okay, I know I know we got a, I know I got a lot of Swifties who uh, who are also um, citizens of Curtis Town. We got a, a big um, we had a big overlap. Okay, big overlap with the Swifties and the um, members of Curtis Town, which is great. You know, I I um I fuck with Taylor Swift. You know, she got some good songs. I'm junk in the back of the car. In a cry like a baby coming humped in the bar. Oh. Great song. You know, she got some good ones. Um, she's got bangers, okay? I'll say it. And her last name is a Pokemon move. So that's pretty cool. Um, because of no Swift. Taylor Fi- uh, Flamethrower. 
<laughs> Taylor Hyperbeam. That'd be cool. Anyways, um, there's some drama going on, okay, with uh, not so much Taylor Swift, but a Taylor Swift lookalike. That's right. There's this girl named Ashley Leachin, and her whole thing is, um, like, she sort of, like, dresses up. Ashley Legion like, dresses up as Taylor and sort of just, like, walks around as Taylor and is, like, and people stop her and are, like, what the fuck? That's you. And then she's, like, no, it's not. That's such a coincidence. I don't even know why you would say that. Um, but the stuff we're going to, her recent thing is is pretty crazy, but. Jenna sent me a lot of uh, of uh, Rachel stuff. I want to find the one, the one video. Okay. So there's one video here. Of, it shows what um, Ashley's voice used to sound like when she, I guess, first started uh, impersonating Taylor Swift. And then it cuts to... Uh, what her voice sounds like now. So we'll we'll watch it. I mean, I put, oh. put all the glam and makeup on, you know, because that's what everybody wants to see now, of course. Um, mm-hmm. But no, me and my husband go out into the mall, and I just wear a ball cap. It's it's pretty it's pretty odd um, how my favorite number is thirteen because my birthday falls on the thirteenth. Um, okay, so yeah, this is still what her voice used to sound like. She's now it's like slowly. It's like the red lipstick, the same hair color and style and stuff. Um, and my yeah. favorite color is crimson red. So it's... Um, the- okay, and now this is what she sounds like now. The bangs are here to stay for life. Um, for those who have asked me, are you going to change your hair? Are you going to dye your hair? You obviously don't watch my content because I recently chopped all of my hair off. Yeah, she's even like, she changes... She's changed, like, the way that she says words and, like, how she even, like, enunciates. And, like, her she, like, lowered her voice, kind of, to sound more like Taylor's, like, speaking voice, I guess. Oh, my God, guys. So, I just got done filming a promotional video for Airpostle. And I'm, like, about to leave the store. And they're, like, oh, you get a free gift. Like, you get a free outfit. It's kind of... It's a little weird. Okay. It is a little weird. It's one thing to like, you know, take fashion inspo from a celebrity. People do that all the time, right? Um, But then to like change how you talk, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. You know, like if I'm trying to think of like a, I'm trying to think of someone I can even do an impression of so I can, like, do a a comparison. Yeah, it's like, um... Maybe if I... I don't know. If I was, like, really getting style inspo from Tony Soprano, you know? From, like, from The Sopranos. A fucking Italian mafia guy. And then I just started... I, like, slowly and slowly... Like, maybe you stop listening to this podcast right now, and then you come back a few months later, you're like, I wonder what Curtis is up to. And I've got, like, a fucking wife beater, unbuttoned, you know, fucking shirt, gold chain, and I'm just like, ah, fucking uh, gabagool, you know? You come to me if I'm walking in. You either, I'm walking in. (laughs) Fucking wrong, but... Yeah, so I press it. I press it. I rang that then. That's Tony Soprano. Is um is Mario. Um, that was a bad example, but you know what I'm trying to get at, right? It it just crosses a line a little bit, I think. Um, let's see this next video. Um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's nice because, like, 
So she's, yeah, I guess her name is It's Just Ashley slash No, It's Ashley. That's what that's like a meme, I guess, because like people come up to her and be like, Taylor. And she's like, no, it's Ashley. It's just Ashley. Rick Ashley. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. It's a living. Okay. It's just Ashley or no, it's Ashley. This is getting ridiculous and it needs to stop. Yeah, so this is the new, this is the T, all right? This is that new shit. This is why everyone's mad at Ashley right now. Who is this chick? Essentially, she's a Taylor Swift person. <laughs> okay, that was, who is this chick? <laughs> that was badass. You know, honestly, respect. However, she'll never own up to that. She continues to say she's not Taylor and she's not trying to look like Taylor, even though she very obviously is. Seems like she's done a lot of plastic surgery to make herself look like Taylor, which is really creepy. It just creeps me out. She keeps doing this. She copies her lips. Whoa. Wait, Ashley, she got plastic surgery? To look like Taylor Swift? Ashley Leachin has addressed... Some rumors by confirming that she has undergone cosmetic procedures. Yo, what? And look, I'm not trying to fucking shame people for, pro- like, you know, doing um plastic surgery. Fucking do what you want. It's your, it's your fucking body. But, like, to do it to look like a celebrity, that's that's crazy. Did they make a movie about that? Kind of. Was that what... Is that what Antiviral was about? That fucking horror movie? Yeah, it's like an industry of people getting... The, it's like, isn't it about that movie? <laughs> the worst film bro ever. Yeah, does like that movie is about like a ding? It's like scary or something? It's a movie about there's an industry that like sells illnesses I think that that has like celebrities have or some shit, you know? Some weird shit like that. I don't fucking know. But it's the same thing kind of. It's weird. It's fucking weird. I'm going to get plastic surgery to look like Joe Pesci. <laughs> I'm going to get my le- fucking legs cut in half so I'm shorter. I'm going to get um and like, like Home Alone Joe Pesci, like 90s Joe Pesci. I'm going to dress the same. Come back in a couple of weeks, man. I'm going to be a completely different guy. I'm going to be Joe Pesci'd up. I'm going Joe Pesci mode. It's a Joe Pesci summer. It's like Depeche mode, but Joe Pesci mode. That's what me, That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Someone's got to do that. Someone's got to do that. Someone, someone make an edit of Depeche mode. Joe, Joe Pesci mode. Actually, don't do that. I'm getting off topic, and also my camera died. One second. Okay, uh, let's let's watch the rest. Six. She copies her look. She copies her hair. She does similar poses and uses some filters that make her look a little bit more like Taylor. She copies her look and aesthetic all the time. And the other day, it went from being a little too far to being way too far. Now she's hiring bodyguards to try to dress up like her and wander around and see if people will mob her. She has her hat and her lipstick and her look. Like, this is ridiculous. And people keep saying, like, Ashley Leach needs to be stopped. Like, somebody has to stop her. But what are we supposed to do? I'm glad you asked. Ashley is doing this for the attention. This is not a hot take. This is not a new opinion. We know this. So why why are we still giving her that attention? I have had her blocked for months. I propose everybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's funny that she's like, we got to stop giving her attention. Stop it. And then she's making an entire video about her that has 200,000 likes. Um, so it's working. And also I'm making a video about her. But dude, it's so weird. The fact that she's like walking around dressed up like Taylor and hiring bodyguards to like walk around her. Like that can't be fun, right? Because like I can understand wanting people, you know, if you want to be famous or something and you want people to like crowd around you and be like, it's you, it's you. Oh my God, it's you. But it's not the same thing if people are um 
crowding around you, but they only are doing that because they think it's not you, right? Like that's not, it's not the same thing. That must feel so weird and like wrong. And then those poor fucking bodyguards are like, what are we doing, man? I don't even need to be here. Because, like, yo, God forbid, if they actually think it is Taylor and fucking some crazy shit goes down, what are those bodyguards going to do? They're like, I don't know. We're not, we're, not, we're not real bodyguards. We're just guys. We're just guys in sunglasses. Because people are fucking weird, man. Simply block her. We don't need her. Think about it. Does she offer any actual value to anything really Swifty related? No, not really. She's being creepy to Taylor. I find her creepy. It's just weird. And what is she offering? Nothing. Block her. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I fucking will. Um, so the shitty thing about this is like, I think it was... um. I think it was like a social experiment because every single time something stupid happens on the internet, someone's like, this is actually because of social experiment. We wanted to see what would happen if we did this. But it's like, no, man, you knew what was going to happen. It's not a social experiment. You just wanted to film it happening and post it. Um, okay, so let's, let's, let's fucking see this. We found Taylor Swift's twin. It's just Ashley. It's a Saturday night, and I don't know what to expect. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. Let's do it. Do it. We did a prank to see what it's like to be Taylor Swift for one day, and this is how our day went. Overall, how do you feel about the day? Great. I feel like it's gone much better than I expected. This is where we start ramping it up now. We're going to downtown Disney. That's such a bad Hi, idea. Hi, Taylor. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Full video drops this week on my channel. He shut it down. I gotta see. Vic in the game. Did he did he post it yet? Oh, I guess this is what he does. Fake weekend prank. Fake peso pluma prank. Fake bad bunny prank. Uh, that's funny because they're not. It's funny because it's not them, but it looks like them. <laughs> so people think it's them, but it's not. <laughs> Dude, I I don't know. I think it's weird. I think it crosses a lot of lines. I think it's very strange. Um, but dude, speaking of uh, you know, changing your voice and stuff. Um, that actually brings us to the next topic that we're going to talk about. Um, this guy on TikTok, he's been getting a lot of uh, backlash, a lot of hate. He's sort of become like the new Jake Novak. But th- seeing this guy makes me miss Jake Novak so much. Jake Novak honestly did nothing wrong. Um, Jake Novak's worst crime was being... You know, a little, a little cheesy, a little dorky, a little, you know, a tad cringe. But there's nothing wrong with that. He, I love Jake Novak. Okay, I want to be the next SNL cast member. That guy, but this guy. So I. This guy's name is O Montaigne, and um, let's just see his his usual style of. Of uh, of content. Oops, didn't mean to take a fucking picture of that. No, you do not want to hang out with them. No, you do not want them to come over and spend time with you. You are just horny, okay? You need to cool it. You do not want to hang out with them. You are horny. Be fucking for real. So that that's what he does. I don't know why he's holding a knife in the video that is very hostile. He's like brandishing a fucking knife while he's doing that. You're horny. You're just fucking horny. All right. Admit it or I'll slit your fucking throat. I'll do it. I'll fucking kill you. I'll stab you. No, you do not want to hang. But that's his whole thing. He fucking cuts veggies and shit. And uh, 
like the whole time he's talking, he's like, so this is my toxic trait. I am a bad texter, <laughs> but it's fine because my hair is big and I have arms. Oh, you think you've been humble before? Let me tell you how someone told me they got the ick from me one time. I was texting with this girl on the dating app. She gives me her number. We're texting back and forth for a bit. And she goes, excuse me, can you just wait one minute? I was like, what? She was like, can you please like start uh, capitalizing your, your first letters of all your texts? It's pissing me off. And I was like, haha, like I have auto capitalization on. I don't know why some of my texts aren't capitalizing. And she was like, I, I'm not going to keep texting you unless they, they're capitalized. Like I refuse. And I was like, I'm not changing the setting. She ghosted me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he's not kidding guys he's not kidding you thought he was kidding he's fucking not he's for real dude be fucking for real um okay yeah so it's just like fucking boring fuckboy content being like so i'm cooking and uh you should fuck me for it that's pretty cool but this is why people are mad one second where'd it go okay so I've been getting a ton of hate comments, and I just want to... Dude, okay. This is so funny. So, like, okay, a little different setup. He's got a microphone right now. He's got uh, headphones on. What's going to happen, right? And he's... Ne- I've Okay, here we go. So I've been getting a ton of hate comments, and I just want to formally ask you to please stop. No! Dude, okay. Worst. 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 That's the worst way to do anything. Is if a, if a rap beat just starts going and you go, <laughs> stop. But it gets worse. It gets worse. Step one, I never get tired of the hate. You got to be good before you ever be great. And I know the hate comments only happen because they bought. Because they bought. Yo. <laughs> you. Hey, man. You don't talk like that. So I've been getting a ton of so I've been getting a ton of hate comments, and I just want to say, hey, yo, they only have it because they bled. Yo, what do you talk, man? Fucking, if you're going to rap, just just rap. It's okay. You can rap, it's fine. Hey, man, it's okay, you can rap. You don't got to fucking change every, every way you say a word, dude. Greetings. Today, I would like to respond by uh, to some hate um, by saying, yo, stop. They only have a cut at Bob. <laughs> hey, comments, and I just want to formally ask you to please. Dude. Stop. Step one, I never get tired of the hate. You got to be good before you ever be great. And I know the hate comments only happen because they bought. Cut at Bob. They all bench players staring at the scoreboard. Rel- Scott, but relationship and advice they never taking advice they turning on me and now you hate the advice like bro all i do is chop it in my kitchen what you doing stop with the bitching stop looking listen you little hoe it's all good you just a weak amateur and i'm a real pro what you gonna do bro i know you breaking up more relationships than the five ring woman named j-lo it's cool if you say so i got so many kills on the board i'm like a pavlo dude like i don't fight like why do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one thing to like... Sure, your thing is cutting fucking vegetables in your kitchen while you say like vaguely fuckboy basic shit to a camera for people. That's fuck, like fine. Do that, but just do that. Okay? You don't have to be like, yo, this is some real shit I'm doing right now, though. I'm the real one here. No one else has a balls to do what I do. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. Dude, yeah, the comments are just eating them up, dude. I finna be in the pit part two. Cut a bug. <laughs> Why the accent change? Bro does not talk like that IRL. The accent coming in only while rapping is crazy. Yeah, dude. Um... So yeah, this has happened. He's been getting fucking cooked like all over or all over TikTok. Um and then he responded again. No um no fucking um What am I saying? 
He responded, but with no beat this time. No, no freestyle. Okay, so let's uh, let's watch it. To all the men, and yes, it's almost ninety five percent men that comment cut a board on my videos. You comment that you're a cut a boy. You're my son. You're literally my son. You're my child. I got to add that to my fucking soundboard immediately. Oh, maybe next time, but no. Let's play that one more time. To all the men, and yes, it's almost 95% men that comment cut a board on my videos. You comment that, you're a cut a boy. You're my son. You're literally my son. You're my child. <laughs> Dude, the fuck does that mean? Don't try to, dude, it's so much worse when they try to, like, get in on the joke and try to, like, tag along to it. But, yeah, he, every, dude, every, every TikTok he makes now. Okay, if you really want to test the strength of whatever. (laughs) The every single, okay, every single comment, you can test the strength of, yeah. Cut a board, cut a board, cut a board. And it's crazy. It's so weird because, like, it's like poetic justice in a way. I don't even know what it's justice for. I think just making weird content. Like, but he spends all of his time at a cutting board, cutting shit. And now it's like taunting him. It's like, cut a board, cutting board, cutting board, cutting board, cut a butt. Ow. Dude, I am telling you right now, if you're someone who's going through the breakup, going through that really rough time, and you're still checking their social media, even though you know you shouldn't, and you see they post a photo with someone new in a photo booth, it's over for you. It's over. Pack the bags. Greener pastures await you in the future. Elsewhere. I am telling you right now, if you're... Yeah, it's like, cool, man. That's it? That's what you're... That's it? That's your whole video? The top comment is fluent in Japanese. Just yapping. Yipping and yapping, dude. Cut it, but I don't know, man. That guy. <laughs> Sorry, man. That sucks that you're going through that, dude. That sucks that all that hate is happening, you know? We just got to remember it only happens, cut it, but. Dude, <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. If that was me, dude, if that was, if I was that guy, do you know how quickly that video would be deleted right now? The video would be, would be deleted. My accounts would be deleted. I'd be getting plastic surgery to look like Joe Pesci. I'd change my fucking profile name. I'd move to a different continent. I'd be done, okay? So, I mean... I got to hand it to him. I, I, I guess the, the, the one good thing I can say about him is that, like, fucking hats off to him for not pulling a fucking Joe Pesci, going Joe Pesci mode, you know? Um, okay, fucking Jesus. That was uh, an interesting episode. We're already wrapped up, dude. That was 45, 40-something 40 already, but we're going to keep this party going on the bonus episode. So check out the Patreon, uh, support the pod, and I'm going to keep chilling over there. We got some, uh, let's see what we're going to talk about over there. We've got, we're going to talk about Super Mario retiring. We're going to talk about the, we're going to talk about James Charles, I think. I don't think we talked about him yet over there. And um, we're going to talk about a new Disney adult uh, thing that is happening that is very weird. So we're going to dive into that stuff. So go check it out. And I'll, um, I'll see you next week. Yeah, and I'll see you next week. All right, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, thank you, um, everyone who bought the merch. Um, the new merch we put out, the Silly Tea, we're doing a pre-order. The last time, last chance you can uh, order it is Friday, this Friday. So don't sleep. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later. See you.